Hey folks and welcome to the vlog. Today I got a rather awesome gift from my landlord which is this massive lithograph, Marvel Comics lithograph um, from 1999. It's by Alex Ross and it's from the comic book series called FX where basically everyone on earth has superpowers and it's how your kind of classic heroes Spider-Man, Captain America, Fantastic Four, how they all deal with everyone having superpowers. It's pretty cool. And my landlord spotted this in an auction in Edinburgh and just thought, call it like that, and he bought me it. How awesome is that? I absolutely, I'm a comic book geek, I really am. I love comic books, everything about them. Um, I've even done talks on branding based around superheroes and how you can think about branding up your company as if it was a superhero. Uh, I loved doing that talk and I think I'm going to do, do that again and I'm going to evolve and adapt that approach to branding and turn it into um, maybe a longer talk and also maybe, maybe an ebook, really, you know, really expand on the, on the subject of it. But I do, I absolutely love comic books and um, they're a big influence on me being a graphic designer. I used to read comic books when I was really, really little and just have grown up with them. I, at one point, it was becoming ridiculous the amount of comic books I was buying um, every month. It was just, I was spending all of my money on it. <clears throat> it was like an addiction um, buying comic books for me. Um, I have, I had a massive collection of comic books, but as I kind of got into my final years of uni and needed money, I actually sold off a lot of my comics, a lot of the rarer ones and the kind of sought after collections and I totally regret that now because to buy them all back just would just be a silly amount of money because this is, you know, what, 20, 20 years on now and they were worth a lot of money back then, they're worth even more now. So I kind of, it's not so much selling them for the, you know, it's not the money side of it that I miss having them, it's just they're a large part of of me kind of growing up with design and and characters and comics and and color and typography so it's a really massive influence on where i am today so it's a shame that i don't have that anymore i mean i still have i've still got a couple of thousand comics you know i do still have them in boxes kind of scattered around rooms and things uh, so i didn't get rid of all of them but and i kept the ones which meant the most to me, I still have those. But there are quite a few that I got rid of which I kind of regret, but at the time I needed money. And I'm sure all I did was go down to the student union and drink it behind the bar. You know, that's where the money went um, on nights out, I'm sure. Uh, I've probably spent it on a few, a few important things, but more than likely I just spent it on nights out. But, you know, that's how it goes. So yeah, so today was all about this thing here. Um, it's <laughs> it's just under two meters wide. It might not look it from where I'm standing just now, but it's huge. And um, you can see sort of one of my baseball caps down there for scale. It is absolutely massive. So I'm really, really chuffed to get this. It's uh, a really nice present. So, um, <clears throat> and uh, on Valentine's Day too, but I don't think it was a Valentine's Day, Day gift. I don't think that was why he got me it. It has been sitting in his house for a couple of days and it's only today that I've been able to get it. So uh, so we won't count it as Valentine's, Valentine's Day present, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. I love it. So uh, that was a little bit about what's influenced me into being a graphic designer. Comic books, absolutely love them. I'm a geek. Stay creative, folks, and I'll see you tomorrow.